I'm sure we will have shared soon a wedding anymore. And in case of this, if you happen to have one of these uh, men's shirts, you can upcycle it into something for yourself, as BG was asking me to do. I love the pattern of this shirt. Isn't it cute with all the little ice creams going around? I can't tell you the exact uh, composition because we cut the label at some point, but it was uh, apparently from Springfield and it's an L size, but it's one of these custom fits, so it's not one of the classic loose ones, but a fitted one. And I think I can make myself a a top, a nice little summery top. And stay until the end because apart from showing you how it looks, I'm going to show you how to combine it with different things I've made and create whole outfits to show you how you can make your own wardrobe and use it all. So it's going to be a simple top, of course I'm going to cut underneath the yoke so I can make the most out of the shirt and open it as well, the back. And the idea is to make a top that, uh, yes, the idea is to make a top with straps. I love upcycling. It's one of the reasons why I started sewing and I have to say it's one of the most fun things ever. You are making the most out of your wardrobe, you are creating new things full of personality and of course donating clothes, it's ideal, it's really good, but maybe there's something catchy about what you're going to do, like for example this pattern is really nice and maybe you don't want to get rid of it, so it's a second opportunity or maybe not even for yourself but for a child, you can make a little dress or a little shirt out of it as well. So I'm going to cut as well the bottom bit so it hasn't got this uh, weird shape, not weird, this rounded shape at the bottom just straight. And maybe I can use the buttons and buttonholes for straps. Let's see. Am I going to keep all of this? Of course. Do I need it for anything? I don't know. First I'm going to close the back seam and what I'm going to do is just put it right sides together, uh, stitch all along it and then uh, zigzag stitch so it doesn't fray and I'm going to top stitch it to one side. On the side seams it has uh, flat felt seams but I'm just going to do this so it stays in place and it looks nice as well. And because I'm right there sat on the machine, I'm just going to hem it all around it because I don't need to measure anything. Then the elastic band, the plan is to sew one on top and one underneath the bust area. So because uh, elastic bands are rough and uh, 
itchy. So you want it inside, you want it enclosure. So I'm going to just sew it on top with a zigzag stitch so I can then fold it and that way I leave it inside so I don't even see it. And the second seam is going to be just with a straight seam, trying not to step on the elastic band. And now the second elastic band. What you have to take into account is what, uh, how far you want it from the first one, taking into account of course the, uh, your bus contour. So mine is going to be like 15, 16 centimeters away and I'm going to mark it on the right side of the fabric. Stay with me because I think I can do something like a sort of French seam elasticated thing so I'm going to sew it on the right side with a zigzag stitch. And now I'm going to fold inside to make this sort of uh, guide inside and sew again. And that way, just with a normal stitch, with a straight stitch, and that way it stays inside. It's like a sort of French seam and it has the elastic band inside. So we don't have to make any sort of guides or sew any ribbon inside, nothing. It's really easy fast and useful. And you see how the inside has this French seam and I think it's really good. I think it's lovely. You can even sew it on top as well. Yes, I'm going to stitch it on top, on the top bit, so that way as well it doesn't move. And now the straps, this could be just it, make it, uh, you can make it strapless, but I like straps, so I'm going to use the buttonhole placket and the button placket as straps, I think it's something different, and I'm just going to sew it, taking into account that they are at the same distance from the side seams, and the back is going to be even easier because you can center it uh, between the side seam and the uh, middle seam it has at the back. And that's it.
And this is the final result. I think it's an ideal top for summer. And I love how it's finished. I love the hems and I love how the elastic band is in closure inside the top. So you can't see anything and it doesn't bother you either because they can be a bit itchy. And of course the straps. I love how the straps looks with the bottom and the buttonhole plackets. Nice little touch. Because it's a really summery and fresh top, of course the obvious outfit is with a pair of shorts. And it might not be the obvious uh, outfit to go for, but I think it looks nice as well with a pair of tracksuits. And for example, with the tracksuit skirt I made, another upcycle, I think it looks different with a pair of trainers and it has this sportive and fresh look as well, really comfortable. You can also pair it with some longer trousers for an evening out and even with a little jacket you have around for chilly nights. I'll leave you the links to all the outfits down in the description box as well as the uh, list for all the upcycling projects I've, projects I've made like the skirt you've uh, seen me wearing uh, during the whole video worn during the whole video and the, uh, for example, the scarf dress, uh, the kimono I made out of a mantong and things like that. Don't miss it. And don't forget to subscribe either because I upload twice a week and that way you don't miss anything. Bye.